begin, I want to show you that this is my kitchen table. And what I've done is I've wrapped the end of the table in butcher paper. Because the table is wood, we want to keep it as sterile as possible. All right, we'll be back when we're starting. Okay, folks, I think I know what I'm doing. Um, because we're making sausages and not roasts, uh, it's not a big deal if I mangle this a little bit. But uh, look at the nice fat in this. That's going to make lovely sausage. We're going to pull the fat out. Now, deboning is, is not an easy job when there's such fine bones on, this an on these animals. So I'm going to save the front legs for frying and I'm going to take out the rib cage and the backbone and then debone the legs. I just dry my hands on my apron here. Now I don't know how well you can see me do this but the first trick is you've got to cut away. You can see there's a hinge here on the ribs. That is where like there's a separate set of ribs like for the breastbone. So we just want to cut those away. Now be careful folks, rabbit bones are really sharp. You just want to cut away that bit of uh, breastbone there. Anything that will cut through flesh and bone will cut through flesh and bone. Remember that folks. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to scrape the rib cage from the inside. Get rid of some more of this fat there. I have a bowl here for bones, which I'm going to stew when I when I boil down my the leftover turkey carcass. You want to scrape this away, and then I've got, I'm going to freeze the bones that I uh, take out of from deboning, and then I'm going to uh, boil those down. And the front legs, like I said, they're almost like wings, so I'm going to make I'm going to save them for frying like chicken wings, and the uh, the rest we're going to grind up. Anything we can t separate from bone, we're going to grind up. Now you want, I thought to start up here, but you don't. You start scraping. If this is a patience thing, folks. You do not want to break the ribs. If you break the ribs, then you have to peel them out one by one. And you don't want to peel them out one by one. Now look, the tissue is so fine that you can just start pulling the meat away from the ribs. Now there's short ribs down here and we'll show you in a minute what to do with them. But see how they just kind of peel back like that? You'd almost think I knew what I was doing, eh? Now re you really want a, a set of sharp knives for this. Just pull the meat down. The guy that I watched do it took all the bones out of the rabbit, left it all in one piece and rolled it up into a roast in less than six minutes. I'm not that good yet. See we just pull this meat right down Look at that, eh? And then you just give a little cut along the lower part of the rib cage. Scrape it well with a sharp knife. It just peels. It literally just peels. Uh-oh, now that rib did break. But that's okay because look, if you break a rib, just grab it with your knife and peel it off. And we're just going to go along the underside here. <clears throat> I want to show you what I'm doing here. I'm just going from the ribs right along up to the backbone there. These couple of ribs here, I will just scrape off and peel out as best I can with my knife here. All right, now we'll flip it over and we'll separate this from the shoulder. Like I said, I'm just going to put the uh, front legs aside for frying because they're really difficult to debone, but they're going to make nice wings. And then we start to scrape down this side of the rib cage where your hands are. Know where your hands are in conjunction to your knife at all times. Once you get the one side done, the second side's much easier. But if you try and separate the rib cage before you get that first side done, you'll just break the ribs and then you'll be picking the rib bones out. You want to scrape it right up to the edge. Now remember folks, I'm, I'm only deboning these to make sausage. Because you know that bacon I made? It's all gone. And we'll peel those out. Then we go along the underside of the rib cage, along the spine. Let's take this shoulder leg out here. He's going to go in a whole other freezer bag. All right, now that we've cut down towards the spine here, we don't want to lose any meat if we can help it. There's some short ribs under here, so we're just going to go right along the spine. You can hear it clicking like that. We're going to go down in and then we're going to scrape this back 
until we see the short ribs. And once you get down here, you can almost see these short ribs. See, and we'll just cut underneath them. Now we'll go under where those la that last rib is. There's those short ribs right there. And pretty soon, you'll be able to go right under the spine. We're going to separate. You follow it all the way down to the leg. Cut that leg off. We'll do the same with this side. Follow it all the way down to the leg or the tailbone or whatever that is. And we'll just separate that from the backbone. And then you just cut here like this. Make sure you have all your ribs out of the way. You grab the neck. Not bad for a beginner, I think. And there is the backbone. Like I said, I've left too much meat on it. But there's the backbone for soup. Here's the front legs for frying. We're just going to separate this meat from the leg and throw it in the sausage bowl. Down there. And then we're going to debone the legs. And this is not a job I enjoy, but you start up at the top and you go to the joint and you just kind of follow the bone. And you just kind of work your way along the same cut until you've got the bone nicely exposed. Now, you slice along the bone until you can get your knife underneath it. Watch your fingers, turn it around, go up to the joint, cut past the joint, and where you followed that bone, I'm making sausage. I'm not doing a very pretty job at it. But that's why we're making sausage, because we've never deboned a rabbit before. Trim that, trim that meat off. This, These bones are going to make wonderful soup because there is meat on them. Alrighty, certainly not a professional job, folks, but not too bad, eh? I've got mine, because it's winter, I have my all my skinned and washed ones out in the porch in a big stainless steel pot so that they'll stay cold as I do each one. And that's the bones from one rabbit. Not too bad, eh? Anyway, we'll be back when uh, we've got most of these done. Okay, here is about a bag and a half of our, our uh, I almost said chicken, of the bones from the rabbits, the 15 rabbits. That's not bad from 15 rabbits. We're going to put these in the freezer. And here are our two, ooh, probably 15, 12 to 15 pounds of rabbit meat. All right. This is the one bag. Now, this is our one batch of sausage meat. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mix the sauce, uh, the uh, spices in here while Papa grinds up the neck, the other bag. And then we'll be back after we've washed this out and we'll start filling our sausage casings. All right. This is our 15 pounds of breakfast sausage. And I'm just going to put the seasonings in. And I'm going to mix it. So we'll be back when this is all mixed. There's Daddy grinding me Irish sausage. Doesn't he look like a leprechaun to you? All right, Papa's done grinding the other 15 pounds. It may not look like less, big, but it's a bigger bowl. I'm going to go ahead and mix the homestead Irish sausage. And uh, we'll get back when we're ready to put it in this casing. that for a second. I haven't learned the art folks of linking properly so when we run low on these I just tie the ends. These are the two end pieces of our last uh, casing so well this is what we're going to have for supper while we're stuffing the rest of the sausage. This is our first big link of uh, breakfast sausage. Okay oh we got our sausage in there and we had a lot of work to do. I poked some holes in it with a toothpick and I'm just going to dump some tomatoes in there, some home canned tomatoes, a little bit of green onion. There, whoops, there we go, looking good. That's real well measured. And I'm just going to put a lid on that and turn it down to low. And I'm going to cook some rice. When we're done stuffing our sausage, we'll invite you for dinner. Okay, folks. What we have here is some cooked brown rice and some fresh baby spinach. And oh my, 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 look at that. Mm -mm -mm. All right, Papa. Oh. 
Awesome. There we go. Very good. From start to finish, it's been a long day. I gotta go eat. <laughs>